Welcome to another game of Pauper Commander. This time I thought it would be interesting to fight the zombie horde, since it keeps getting beaten with the normal commander decks, but we've kept the power level of the horde deck the same. Since there are 4 players in this game, we are playing that each player will be adding 20 life to the group total, telling the team at 80. The commanders this game are Josh playing Mist Meadow Witch, Carl playing Imperious Perfect, Rob playing Sortai Soothsayer and Tristan playing Nivix Good Mage. We will once again be playing with our hands exposed, but just in case you can't see them, here are the opening hands. Turn 1, everyone plays their basic land except for Rob who plays Jungle Hollow, gaining the team 1 life. Life totals will be changing rapidly this game with the creature Carl plays turn 1, Essence Warden. Rob plays Sakura Tribe Elder and Josh casts Azori's Signet. Tristan draws Stoic Rebuttal to counter any big threat from the Horde. Carl plays Heart Warden, gaining a life and attacks the Horde for 1 damage. On the Horde's first turn, it unleashes 1 zombie token and casts Bad Moon. The Horde attacks with a 3-3 zombie which Rob blocks with his Tribe Elder, and then of course sacks for a land. On their turn, Carl casts Imperius Perfect and Elvish Skysweeper. Josh casts Augury Owl, scrying 3. The team gains 3 life this turn. The Essence Warden stays in play all game, just to let you know. Rob casts Scout the Borders, putting Treasure Cruise into his yard and Cadaver Imp into his hand. Carl attacks the Horde for 2 with Essence Warden. On its turn, the Horde makes 3 zombies and casts Festering March, giving all their guys negative 1, killing Josh's Owl. Essence Warden gains the team 3 life when the zombies enter. When the zombies attack, Tristan casts Yamabushi Flame, killing one of the zombies. On their turn, Rob casts his commander, Carl casts Elvish Archer and Viridian Emissary. Josh casts Cloud Chaser Kestrel, destroying the Horde's Bad Moon, and casts Mist Meadow Witch. The team gains 5 life for their turn. Carl then attacks the Horde for 4 damage. On its turn, the Horde removes a time counter from suspended cards and unleashes 4 zombies and casts White of Precinct 6. The team gains 5 life and their White is a 5 5. Tristan shocks and lightning strikes the white. Rob and Josh both block a zombie and Carl blocks and kills two zombies. While Carl's Viridian emissary dies, he fetches a forest. The team takes 4 damage from unblocked zombies. Carl casts Symbiotic Elf and Sky Shroud's Archer. Josh casts and sacks Wayfarer's Bobble. Carl makes an Elf Warrior with his Imperious Perfect. Rob casts Sakura Tribe Elder. The team gains a total of 4 life for the turn from the Essence Warden. On its turn, the Horde unleashes one zombie giant, one regular zombie, and casts Nested Ghoul. The team gains 3 life. Rob blocks a zombie with Sakura Tribe Elder. Carl blocks Nested Ghoul with Elvish Archer, and a regular zombie with the Symbiotic Elf. Rob sacks his Tribe Elder for a land, and Tragic slips with Morbid on the zombie giant. One unblocked zombie deals the team 2 damage. On their turn, Carl makes an Elf Warrior. Josh casts Sanctum Gargoyle, returning Wayfarer's Bauble to hand, then casting it. Rob casts Griff Vanguard to draw a card. The team gains 3 life for their turn. Carl, Rob and Josh attack for 6 damage. On the horse upkeep, the team agrees that a recurring festering march is a bad thing, so Tristan Stoke rebuttals the sorcery, so that the team won't keep losing their creatures. Luckily, the horse unleashed for the turn is innocuous with Undead Warchief. The team gains 1 life and Josh Vapor snags the Warchief, losing the Horde 1 life. The zombies attack and Carl blocks them both profitably. At the end of the Horde's turn, Rob grossly flickers his Griff Vanguard and his commander, adding cards to hand and gaining the team 2 life when they re-enter the battlefield. On their turn, Carl continues to draw land and makes another Elf Warrior, gaining the team 1 life. Everyone but Tristan attacks, dealing the Horde 8 damage. Rob casts Cavern Harpy, gaining a life, returning Cadaver Imp to her. Tristan finally casts his Commander, gaining one life, and then casts Honda and copies it with Nivix Field Mage. Rob then recasts Cadaver Imp, gaining a life and returning Seagate Oracle to his hand, which he then plays and gains another life. For the Horde's turn, the team gains four life. The Horde unleashes Diagraph Captain. Fortunately, Carl has a Flip Striker. Carl, Rob, and Josh block killing all the zombies and dealing the team no damage whatsoever. Josh momentarily blinks his gargoyle, getting back away from his bobble and gaining one life. Carl casts Quirion Trailblazer and makes another elf of his commander. 
Josh casts Sky ill school, losing a card and then sacks his bobble once again. This time, everyone attacks and deals the horde 19 damage. The horde gets milled but does not reveal any Freshback Marauders or Army of the Damned. Post combat, Rob returns Cavern Harpy to hand, paying a life and then recasts it, gaining the life back and returning Cadaver Imp to the battlefield, returning Yavi Maya Elder to hand and then casts Abomination of Gudu. On the Horde's turn, the team finally remembers to recast the Horde's undead warchief that Josh Vapor snagged a while back. The Horde unleashes one token and then the first flashback marauder of the game. The team gains 3 life. With the trigger on the stack, Tristan unsummons his commander and copies it and returns Warchief back to the Horde's hand. Everyone else sacks a creature. Tristan casts Mnemonic War, returning Stoic Rebuttal to hand. Josh recasts his commander. Carl casts Wild Heart Invoker and makes a warrior. Rob casts Yavi Maya Elder. Tristan tries to convince Josh to replay his commander and blink his war every turn so that Tristan can counter every spell the Horde casts every turn, but Josh says no. The team gains 4 life for the turn. The team attacks for 28 damage. One of the army of the damned gets milled. Post combat, Rob does more shenanigans with Cavern Harpy returning Cadaver Imp to play and then returns Seagate Oracle to hand, gaining the team one more life. On the Horde's turn, it flashbacks army of the damned making 13 zombies. The Horde recasts Undead Warchief and casts Soulless One, gaining the team 15 life. The Horde attacks. Carl blocks the Warchief with his first striking Elfish Archer, and Rob blocks the Soulless One with Cavern Harpy, and then pays a life to return it to his hand. On the team's turn, Carl casts an Elf and then makes an Elf. Josh casts more Drifter. Tristan recasts Nivik's Skilled Mage. Carl pumps his Essence Warden with Wild Heart Invoker, and then attacks the horde to mill the rest of the deck. Rob casts Aether Snipe and more creatures for blocking. The team gains 7 life. On the horde's turn, Tristan counters the army of the damned. The horde has no more cards in its library, so it attacks with 13 zombies, all of which the team can block and kill at this turn, losing the game for the horde. That's the game! We got to see a little more from the horde this time, but it still has a ways to go. Carl's Essence Warden gained the team a lot of life, but all of Carl's attackers and blockers were the real star of the show. We'll increase the strength of the Horde for the next vid you see from us. That's it for now, thanks for watching.